For this video, let's look at SBM 2015 at Maths Paper 2 Question 14. Let's start with A1. Find the length of QS. Before you find the length of QS, you must first find this angle, SPQ. Just take 180 degrees and you subtract these two values. You'll get 70 degrees. Okay, let's now start trying to find length of QS. To find the length, you must use the sine rule. The length of QS is 14.19 cm. Okay, now let's go to question 2. Find the angle of QRS this angle right here. For this question, we need to use the cosine rule. So you put this value that you found on your first question. Now, you simplify this. Your answer, angle QRS, is 141.36 degrees. Okay, now let's go to question 3. Find the area of PQRS. To find the area, you must use the method to f you use to find the area of a triangle. As you can see from the diagram, there are two triangles. So, just find the area of both triangles and add them together. Remember to put this value back into the diagram. And this is the area of the first triangle. Now let's find the second. And here you have. Now just add these two values together. And your answer is 72.38 cm square. Let's move on. B1. Sketch the triangle S prime Q prime R prime. Given that S prime R prime equals to SR, S prime Q prime equals to SQ, and angle S prime Q prime R prime equals to angle SQR. First things first, we need to find the angle. SQR. This is because we already have SR and SQ given in the question. Now to find this angle, we have to use the sine rule again. Your answer, angle SQR, is equal to 15.31 degrees. Okay, now, since we already have gotten this angle, we can start drawing the triangle. As you can see, I've already drawn this, but you need to draw it using a ruler and a protractor. Make sure that S' prime and Q' prime are 9 cm apart, S' prime R' prime are 6 cm apart, and the angle S prime Q prime R prime is 15.31 degrees or 15 degrees. Okay, now B2, find the angle of S prime R prime Q prime. That means this, this angle right here. 
There are two ways you can find the angle. First, you could use a protractor like what I did, or you could use the sine rule again. I chose to do the protractor because, you know, it's easier. Your answer should be 37.5 degrees. Thank you for watching.